Estrella Diaz. Hello, Madam Mayor, Councilman. I hope you all are well. So I just want to say, first off, I want to say thank you to Madam Mayor for recognizing Hispanic Heritage Month. It means a lot to have that be made known, as it makes many others and myself feel seen that are a part of that community. So thank you. Um, but moving forward, as you know, on September 24th, the ceasefire resolution will be coming to a vote. As it is presented one more, I hope that you all have truly sat down and took some time to really think about your decision after the many months that our organization has appeared before you. I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I will leave you with this. Did you know that just last week an American activist who, is, who went overseas to the West Bank to protest what is going on was murdered? She decided to go over there for her own sake to bear witness of what was going on. As she was protesting, she was shot in the head by an Israeli soldier with a sniper as she hid behind an olive tree. She was only 26 years old and had recently just graduated college. What is so eerie about this is she was a part of the same organization, International Solidarity Movement, as Rachel Corey, uh, the 23-year-old American activist who was murdered in 2003 by a Caterpillar D9, D9 bulldozer for simply being in protest of Palestinians' home being demolished. While she stood in front of the home in hopes of them not demolished and demolishing it, which cost her life. If any of you are aware, a couple of years back, her parents actually came here in protest of Caterpillar, and I just want to let you guys know that if you weren't aware. But with that being said, again, when the time comes, I really do hope you guys make the right decision about this. But that's all.